In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps you need to complete to finish Apply Your Knowledge in Module 9 on page 546. So you can see that I have opened here the Apply 91 American Auto Import LLC and named it Complete as instructed at the top of the page. So <coughs> doing a solver, you have to read through and think through everything that you're going to have to include in the, in the solver. Um, and sometimes the information is in the paragraph form and sometimes it's in the steps. In this case, we're just going to start reading the directions up top um, of the page and try to figure out where to begin here. So um, we are an auto importer and shipping automobiles from European nations for resale in North America. The vehicles are shipped to North America, um, to the North American distribu distribution hub in a standard shipping container with a maximum capacity of 800 cubic feet. So that's our first constraint. We can only hold a total of 800 cubic feet. So cell E12 has to be 800 or less. Okay, still we're just thinking here. Now we're going to use the solver to find the optimal mix of vehicles so that each shipment includes at least one of each type. There's three vehicle types, one, two, and three, and no more than four of vehicle two. More constraints. We want to maximize our total profit. So that's our bottom line is we want to make the most money while following those rules um, with the number of vehicles and um, the size that we have in our container. Okay, so we're going to start the solver. And our objective cell, or our target in this case, is total profit. I happened to have my mouse on that before I <laughs> clicked, so it already um, snuck it in there. Make sure that it says maximum before we were doing minimum in the chapter. And the cells that we can change are the number of vehicles in the shipment. So we're going to select B8 through D8 for our changing cells. Now we have a few constraints to add. Start with the Add button. Okay, our first one that we mentioned um, already was we have 800 cubic feet to work with. So cell E12 has to be less than or equal to 800. Once you have that typed in there, click the Add button. We've got more to go. Um, also in, in the um, instructions it said that we have to include at least one of every vehicle. So let's select all three of the vehicles and choose greater than or equal to one and then add. Also we need to have um, no more than four of vehicle two. So we're going to click on vehicle two <coughs> and that's going to be less than and equal to four. So you're noticing that you can put more than one constraint on a cell. All right and um, let's see each each of the solutions has to be an integer. We would not be able to ship a, like one and a half cars. <laughs> we have to ship whole cars. So we're going to select all three of those numbers and choose integer in the middle. All right, so I think maybe we have everything. I'm just going to check here in item number one. We've got the total profit, maximized, changing cells B, C, and D. The results should be integers, add constraints to solver to limit the number of vehicles to no more than four of vehicle two, and at least one of each type. Total cubic feet has to be no more than 800. I think we've got everything in there, so we're going to hit OK now on the add constraints. And then we're looking at our solver parameters. Everything looks okay. The directions say to use the simple L, uh, simplex LP option in our solving method. And then we'll hit the solve button. And it looks like we are going to be able to ship one vehicle one, one vehicle two, and four vehicles, um, four vehicle threes. And 
our profit is going to be 72,500 and we're way under the 800 uh, cubic feet but you can see how many cubic feet are required we wouldn't be, there's no cars that are that are uh, 55 cubic feet so you could throw in a couple bikes or something I guess all right so we're going to choose the answer report and okay take a look at our answer report make sure yours looks like this you are finished now I know there's a couple more steps in there step three is to trace precedence and step four is to use the watch window go ahead and do those things but there's nothing that shows up on um, on the instructor end for grading um, do place your name on on your uh, sheet one somewhere and you're finished